Hello students, welcome again to another interesting tutorial. So this is our diagram we are going to draw the unisine millimeters. So arrow X is represent arrow X is representing the front. Yes, so don't forget to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and you get notified for more simplified tutorials. So let's start. So we are going to start by drawing. So you click on start drawing. Then from there you go here to unsaved view and you choose southwest isometric. Then you come here up and you choose realistic view. Yes, as you can see, then you can type in UCS icon command and you choose no origin. From there you go, you type units. So from units you come, you make sure that they are in zero precision and they are in millimeters. So you can press OK. So you type in limits. So lower limit is 0, 0. And the upper limit is 200, 200. Enter. So 200, 200. Enter. So you come to line command. Choose the start point. Make sure offer mode is on. So this line is of a length 35. Remember we are adding 15 plus 10 plus 10. That is 35. So you type in 35. Enter. So that's your line. You can zoom in and you come to pan and you put your work there. So the next thing we are going to do a line here of length 15. So you type in 15, enter. So you go to offset command, you come to this line up to that point and you offset it up down for a distance of 35. So from there, you can offset this line again, distance of 10, you offset it up again for a distance of 10. Then you come to line and you close, enter. So you come to trim command, you trim all this part. Yes, this part is not necessary. So from there, you come here, circle, and you choose circle diameter. So you come to the midpoint here and do a circle of diameter 15. You go back again, and you choose circle diameter. You come to the midpoint, you do another circle of diameter 35. Enter. Yes, that's what we have. You go to trim command, and you trim all these parts. They are not necessary. The next thing, you go to line command, come to the middle line, and you do a line of length, 75 millimeters, enter, you can escape. Then you come to this line, and you offset it, so for a distance of 5, this side also 5, remember the overall distance is 10. So you go to trim command, you trim this part, this, 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 all this is not necessary, so you can trim it off. Yes, this is what we have. So you go to circle command. You come choose circle radius. So you come to this point. You do a circle of radius. You type in 22.5 millimeters. Enter. You come again to circle radius. You choose this point and you draw in a circle of 12.5 millimeters. Enter. So you go back to trim command and you trim all these parts off. So trim that and trim that off. So this is what we have. So you can come here, you draw a line from this point up to that point. Make sure offer mode is off. So you choose a tangent and you draw a line there. Then you come back again, you choose a line, you come to this point, up to this point where you see a zero and a line. It means that's a tangent. So you enter. So from there you can come and pan, press your work there. Yes. As you see from there. Now the next thing, there is a line here. So it is from the center up that side. Make sure offer mode is on. That is a distance of 35. So you type in 35, enter. As you see. Then you come to offset. You offset this line. Remember it is 5. So you offset this side for a distance of 2.5 millimeters. You also offset it this side for a distance of 2.5 millimeters. So this side you also offset it for a distance of 15.5. You also offset it this side for a distance of 15.5. Enter. Yes. So you come to line command. You do a line from there up to there. Then enter. You also come back again to line. You do a line from there to there. Enter. Now you can delete this line. And you go back to trim command. And you also trim all this part is not needed so we are drawing from the top 
this is what you'll be observing from the top. So now the next thing you go to what we call press pull command. So you press pull this part up for a distance of 15. You press pull this part up for a distance of 10. So there's an allowance of 5. You press pull this part up for a distance of 10. So you're going to press pull this part up for a distance of 45. Enter. You press. So before you press pull this, you can rotate. And you come to press pull command. You press pull this part up for a distance of 45 or so. Enter. Yes. So you can come back here and you choose south west so you can union you select all these objects you go to union command select all the objects enter so you come to line command choose this point where you say box up to that point make sure offer mode is off you can switch it off up to that point enter so you come to press pull and you press pull this part off so you can pan and press your work there so this is what we have so far now the next thing you can rotate your work come to press pull press pull this part so you press pull it up for a distance of 30 enter also this part for a distance of 30 enter okay. you go to union command you come you select the objects then enter then you can come go back to southwest iso metric yes so that's what we have so from there you come you choose this face no come to face choose this face choose this face here enter so from there you can switch the grids off you are going to draw circles so this circle here was already as 15 so you come you take it up for a distance of 15 yes so you come to press pull command and you press pull this circle in for a distance of 13 enter 13 enter then you can rotate this work up to there then you type in miller so you are going to choose 3d miller which is this one so you choose select this object you come to this point take your line there Make sure of so you make sure offer mode is on so delete source object choose no as you see the object is mirrored to the other side come back choose this face enter so you are going to draw here a hole so you come here circle diameter then you choose this point diameter is 16. yes so you're going to press pull this part out is a hole already created then you can rotate then you come back to press pull command you are going to press pull these parts down for a distance of five enter then this circle also down for a distance of five millimeters enter as you see you can go back to southwest isometric again you zoom in zoom out so you can pan and press your work there so we are almost done guys kindly subscribe so now from there you come to move command select the whole object take it this side so you can come and delete all these lines so you can select all of them at once and you delete them since they are not necessary so you come back here you choose southwest isometric you come to move command select the object then you move it down there so you can pan and press it there you come you choose the face we are doing all this such that the tube goes back the way we started drawing so you can pan yes the tube is now well aligned so this is what we have so that so you can double click then you choose come here to layer then you choose the color you want you can choose magenta you can choose purple then you come here and you choose hidden view so you can pan and press your work there so this is done